I'm getting ready to make our cauliflower macaroni and cheese. So I'm basically washing it off, rinsing it off. And just shake off the excess water. And go ahead and place it on the chopping board. Okay, so now for the baked macaroni and cheese, cauliflower style, I'll be using a tablespoon of black pepper and at least one and a half tablespoons of garlic salt. Why am I using garlic salt? Because I want some flavor to it. I just don't want no plain salty taste. And it's going to be roasted, so we will need just a little cap full or two of the oil and we're just gonna massage all the ingredients together. Once it's roasted, I will be using two different cheeses in my ingredients, and also one pack of soft and cream cheese and a stick of butter for flavor. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I chop up the cauliflower. So I'm gonna slice it up like a steak, I mean by a steak. Slice it up. And what you can do, you see how it has this design? I'll, I'll just call it a design. Let me bring it closer. You just cut around there and you're going to cut around the stems. And what it does, it basically imitates the noodles, so you don't have to make them that small. It'll be like in bite size. So you just cut around, you do not cut the stem. This right here, you don't eat. You throw it in the garbage. And this is the part that you're gonna keep. And you can make it small. But what's gonna happen once it goes in the oven for 40 minutes, on 375, is actually going to shrink. So for if you want this as a family meal, I would suggest to use two heads of the cauliflower because again, it's going to shrink. If it's only for you and a loved one or a child, then only use one head, but it's still gonna shrink up. So, and this will be a good trick for those kids who don't like vegetables. This is a way of sneaking in their vegetables. So I pretty much almost have a whole tray of cauliflower but i guarantee you by the time i take it out of the oven it's not going to look that way so see you just cut it up comes off as a little uh, cauliflower bug and don't knock it till you try it that's the only thing that i can say to you you're going to be quite surprised, and I think you're probably gonna like this more than the regular macaroni and cheese that you may be used to making. So yes, yeah, so you just chop it up, put it on the baking pan, and what I'm going to do now is pour over some, let me wash my hands right quick. I'm gonna pour over some oil, because that's what's gonna help the roasting process. Again, as you move around in the kitchen, you gotta keep those cans clean. And I said to your, in order to roast these, you would need some oil. So I'm gonna place two capfuls of cooking oil. Canola oil is a good oil to use. Yeah. And then, like I said, you use at least a tablespoon of black pepper. I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna shake, shake till I can't shake no more. <laughs> and I'm going to open up my garlic salt. I'm holding it up high. And then you go ahead and massage your ingredients in. And what it's going to do for you is going to give you a garlic taste. If you don't want garlic salt, then use regular salt. But I personally love the taste 
and the smell and the aroma that it gives to it, you're gonna love it. So again, anytime you seasoning, make sure you massage stuff in, completely in. So I already have my oven preheated. So what I'm gonna do is place it in the oven and it's gonna cook for the next 30 to 40 minutes in the oven on 375. So this is what the cauliflower looks like now. You see? So when you take it out, you will see the difference. This is not gonna be like this, it's actually gonna shrink up. So you can also keep an eye on it because each oven has different temperature heating. So if you feel like you need to take it out, take it out. So this is what the cauliflower looks like once it's come out the oven, it has been roasted. So now I'm gonna to begin to make the sauce, but I just wanted just you to see up close and personal what it looks like. It has a little brown to it, so that means it's done. So let me go head on and get started with the sauce part of it. Now to my pot, I have added in a half a stick of butter for it to melt. And then I'm just gonna simply stir in the cheese a little bit at a time until it comes to the consistency that I want it to be. And this is for the cauliflower mac and cheese. I'm also going to add a heavy whipping cream, half and half, whatever cream of your choice. I found what they had in the grocery store. Now it's half and half. And so I'm going to pour in like a half a cup of milk so far. I'm going to add in the other package of cheese and I'm going to let it slowly melt. Macaroni and cheese mixture, you can add salt and black pepper to your taste or you can also use the garlic salt that was used earlier in order to enhance the flavor of your baked cauliflower mac and cheese. And so, fresh out the oven, baked cauliflower macaroni and cheese. I hope you enjoy. So here we are. Final touches. Baked salmon with cauliflower baked mac and cheese. I hope you enjoy.